Hey, Virgo. This is going to be a simple message. What are your instincts trying to tell you? Maybe you've been having some sort of feeling, uh, some sort of apprehension about something. What are your instincts trying to tell you, Virgo? Let's see. What are your instincts trying to tell you, Virgo? the page of pentacles the two of pentacles the um the lovers and rivalry four of cups i have the five of wands the four of cups um transition transformation okay You can have your eye on somebody, um, but somebody else has their eye on the same person or the same opportunity. Maybe you wanted to apply for a job or something or, you know, take take it to the next level with, with someone. You need to know someone more, you know, on a mm, more personal level, you know. But I feel like somebody's watching the same opportunity that you're watching. All right. They're watching the same opportunity that you're watching. Nine of Cups and I have the world. You don't know that, though. So we got the moon. So you don't know that they whatever it is that you want is the same thing that they want. We got the page of pentacles, uh, the two of pentacles, but I also have it, the page of swords. All right. Um, I don't think that you've learned yet that or, or you realize that this person is up after the same thing that you want. OK, um, so kind of watch that. You know, there's a little, like I said, a little apprehension here. Um, I just feel like it's just some, a deep feeling, you know, a deep knowing. And you may not exactly know what it is. Maybe you're doing some research. Maybe you kind of get, get kind of got an inkling or some kind of feeling that something's just not right. And you just don't know what it is. You know, um, maybe you just need to do some research uh, trying to figure out what's going on or dig a little deeper inside your energy, feel your soul to figure out why you're feeling this way. Because, you know, uh, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like somebody's wearing a mask. It's like they're, you know, this could be somebody who's interested in the same thing that you're the same person or job, or whatever, the same opportunity, but whoever it is that that's around you, they are already hooking up with that person or, or they've already applied for that job or they went behind your back and did something, you know, you don't need that. You're better than that. Move on. Okay. There's just some rivalry here um, that you don't see, that you don't know, that you possibly didn't even realize was there. You know, um, you just you don't waste your time. I figure it'd be more, more trouble than it's worth to even trip off of it. Just let it go. We got the Queen of Wands. We got the Judgment. Yeah, just let it go. It's not even worth belly aching about, you know. That's if it's if it's a relationship because we got the lovers. If it's you don't want you to get to know somebody, you possibly all googly eyed and looking at that person. Possibly got a little crush on that person, but there's somebody else who's interested in it too. Not to mention that person gets around. That person gets around. Okay, so he or she's going to be uh, sadly mistaken or, or disappointed because that person got other people in their lives anyway. So, you know, don't waste your time right now. If you thought something was going to happen, just just don't worry about it. Because that person tooting his, tooting his or her horn, he he or she is tooting their horn in more than one place. Okay, so you ain't you're not missing nothing. Just just let it go. No, don't even think about it. I got transition. I got here the five of pentacles. Move on. Just just put it in the back of your mind. Okay, if you're working with somebody, you have a crush on them. Don't worry about it. You know, find a way to get over it. All right, because that person, people are, are kind of like begging and pleading for this person's energy to be within their field, their energy field. It's like uh, people are, are trying to gain their attention. People are trying to be on the level that this person is on, trying to be seen with this person or seen like they are trying their best to get this person's attention, to get this person's ap approval. You don't need that. OK, just remain flexible in who you are. Watch from afar because you'll see. 
I just think that whatever it is you're trying to focus on, you're trying to figure out the energy around you and what's going on, you know, you'll figure it out soon enough. It's for you to figure out when you figure it out. Okay. But not before. All right. You're going to realize like, oh shit, I'm, I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree. I, I, I might well just let that go. Uh-uh. Because you're going to see the, the person for who they're, they truly are. You're going to see their true character, whether it's about a relationship or a job switch or a move or somebody in your life. I feel like you're going to see somebody for who they're truly worth. You really are. For who they truly are. Mm -mm. Don't waste your time. And I just heard there'll soon be an afterthought. Don't worry about this. What's, what's, what's definitely causing you to feel this way? Your intuition. Your intuition is 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 surgical as a as a mother you know yeah you 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 just do better you you're focusing too much on this move away from it away from this energy because it doesn't suit you at the moment it won't ever suit you your energy is higher than theirs so we're gonna see but i kind of feel like this is something that that don't worry about don't waste your time um this person is, is it's got their <laughs> it's got their their fishing pole in too many fishing ponds you get it you know if it's if it's if it's a person's energy but you know even if, if this is some energy around a person like a friend or somebody um you kind of got to see them for who they truly are all right and it's not always a good thing choices it, it's, it's choices that the choices make sure that you're making the best choice for you all right see you gotta move on i feel like you've been stuck here for a minute all right it's, it's more trouble than it's worth. We got the Ten of Pentacles, and this person has relationships. And if you if you get involved with this person, or or no matter what this situation is, your intuition is telling you to, to keep on moving, uh, keep on moving, make make choices, and whatever choices you are making, that's for the best. You know, make those critical choices here for you. Don't waste your time. Don't don't bark up that tree. That tree is not yours to bark up. It's the, it that tree belongs those branches, the limbs, and everything else. And even the energy belongs to somebody else. Leave it alone. Move on because you're gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna cause more trouble than it's worth. Than for you to deal with what's going on. You're just gonna pick up on a lot of that negativity, and you don't need that. You gotta move on. Okay. If this is a person, what's going on with this person? If this is truly a person, what is your intuition telling you about this person? Think of that person. What is your intuition trying to tell you about this person? Right off. What is your intuition trying to tell you? Quality. Detach. See? Let it, let it go. You got to detach yourself from this person. This person does not have the healthiest energy. And you probably feel that, but you just you just can't question you it's like you don't understand why you're feeling this way back up let let it go mm -mm. no way jose no way jose okay and i just heard that song oh susanna oh don't you cry for me <laughs> we got the eight of pentacles move on okay um maybe there was some some dream and hopes that this would work out um and just like well they, they, Maybe my crush doesn't feel the same way that I feel because I feel like there are other people waiting in the wings for this person's attention and you don't need that in your life right now. Huh. Maybe you live in Alabama. We got the lovers. We got changes. We got leadership. You could be attracted to your boss. But you got a, you have a rivalry here. He or she wants whatever it is you want maybe you don't have them maybe they don't technically have them but they may be messing around with this person who you are interested in and and detach yourself from it and, and well when is he or she going to look at me when are they going to see me are they going to tell are they going to be able to tell that i'm attracted to them there could be some mutual attraction but is it a healthy attraction got a legacy Remember, six cups. This person got a lot. Got a lot of women. Okay. Or if they're a man, if they're a woman, they got. If they're a woman, if they're a woman, they got a lot of men. If they're a man, they got a lot of women. You get it? It's a lot of people. You don't want to add yourself to this person's belt. The notch on their belt. You don't need that. They have a lot of admirers. They got a lot of people barking up their tree. A lot. Of, you have a lot of rivalries. You don't need to be you don't need to put yourself in this situation this person has had have, have broken a lot of people down have broken a lot of hearts 
one person in particular who's really suffered at the hands of this mass masochist is that's what i'm just hearing just a, just a nasty narcissistic kind of person okay and and but they still they 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 still come back for more because they they haven't got enough of whatever it, ever it is this person is dishing out. You don't need this energy, you know. You possibly gave this person an ultimatum. Oh, I don't take ultimatums. I give them. Motherfucker, please. Mm -mm. Harsh. But that's the energy they choose to be in. That's that negative energy they choose to be around. That narcissistic male or female. You don't have to be a part of that. Okay. You don't have to be a part of that. I got changes. I got movement here. You know, standing up. This this could be, a, like I said, attracted to your boss or whatever, you know, and you're wanting your boss to see you. Your boss is see all of your qualities. You don't have anything to prove to him or her anymore. It's, it's all about what you're doing for work, not what you can do under the cover. Oh, I thought he would see me or I thought that she would notice me by now. Don't worry about it. Sometimes, you know, um, rejection is the best thing for you. Sometimes rejection is a blessing. And don't 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 keep on trying to do this or do that or work it up. Work yourself up to to, you know, maybe wanting this person to see you or what it is that you do. We got the will. We got the changes here. We got your life is still blossoming in spite of. And also carry you some amethyst with you. I'm just hearing carry some amethyst with you. Detach. How do you go? Because you know your crown is straight enough without somebody knocking it off and tarnishing it. All right. Don't do yourself disservice. Don't even waste your time. Let it go. You may have some, some tattoo like on your hands. Maybe even you use henna or, or maybe you have like an arm tattoo, whatever you call it, a sleeve, or maybe they do or something. And don't let these people get under your skin, whoever, whoever this for, this is for. Um, sometimes people, especially these, these vixens or, or these people in your energy field, they see you like somebody who they like, or they see that you like, or you look, giving somebody the eye who they already messing around with. Uh -uh. Don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time. What else? What is your intuition telling you if this is about a job? But I feel like more so it's a person, though. Treachery. Let it go. And servitude. You know, this is a treacherous relationship. You know, not that you're in a relationship, but this part, if you this person has some has had some treacherous relationships in their lives and you don't want to be a part of their harem. You don't want to be a, discard, a, a discarded piece of nothing to this person because it's all that they they use people and dis, discard them. All right. And and the energy around you who likes them or who are who is already hooking up with them is very treacherous. And you're gonna feel downtrodden and, and hopeless if you're getting involved in this nasty energy. You don't need to be in that. Sometimes you just gotta be happy by yourself. Okay. Defeat. See, you feel lost. You feel defeat. Let it go. Because if you get into this, in a, into a connection with this person in any way, I don't care if it's for a booty call, night out on the town or whatever, um, this person is just going to drain you dry. <laughs> How am I going to say this? You're going to suck them and they're going to drain you dry. Did you hear that? You're going to suck them and they're going to drain you dry. They're just that disgusting. All right. That's what I'm hearing. Don't even, don't, you know, let it go, you know, um, because, and sometimes women, especially catty ass women can fight so dirty, you know, can fight very, very dirty when they're trying to mark their territory, like two damn dogs fighting over a bone. You get what I'm saying? I'm not calling you a dog. That's just, just, just what I'm saying. You know, it's like, you don't need to be involved in this, in this energy field. All right. You just don't, don't waste your time. Damn, I even shuffle. Check, check your thoughts. Let go of the ones that are un, that are unhelpful. Be free of control. Make daily choices guided by your higher self. We just discussed that. All right. Think about it. Why, why do you, why are you, are you so attracted to this individual, or whatever the situation is? They may be fine, you know, whatever. They may be good looking, however you want to look at it. But are they healthy enough for you to, to be with, to hang around? You know, um, because if, if if they wanted you, they will come to you and they're on 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 their own accord. 
but their energy is pulling you in because that's that they just reek that that masculine am energy that feminine energy but is it a healthy energy for you i'm not talking about for her or for him i'm talking about whoever it is they're messing around with but i'm talking about for you you know if 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 you're trying to understand what's going on with that person. Why is he or she making you feel the way they do? You just don't understand. And now you know why. They're not healthy for you. They're not good enough for you. The energy is 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 disgusting. You know, that's that kind of person that can talk you into doing stuff that you're not comfortable with doing. So you got to be careful of, of the choices that you make and with whom you make. If that trollop wants to hang around with him and and suck him dry while he bleeds her dry let that happen whatever the situation is has nothing to do with you um, free of control making daily choices guided by your higher self don't lose heart okay don't lose heart allow life to to lead a little at times allow your higher self to kick in and say okay okay now i know why that energy doesn't feel right i'm attracted to that person i like that person I have a crush on that person or maybe you don't you just think that there's something not right about the individual or the energy around you and now you're what now you know why okay i'm hearing what gosh i'm hearing a song but i can't think of okay the song i'm hearing in my head is uh, uh, is this, excuse me, is this love by White Snake? I'll put that song in the comments. I'm getting chills. <laughs> listen to the song. Uh, is this love by White Snake? I'll put that in the comments for you to listen to. Whew. Yeah. Um, be strong at this time. Be true to you and your purpose here. Be true to who you are. You don't need this person in your life. You just you just don't. I think this person exudes this femininity or this masculinity that you crave. Um, but in like that, this look, this person is, is good. You know, this person is fine. This person is beautiful. This person is sexy. But is that the right sexiness for you? No. Wishes do come true. Simply trust your wish has been heard. Okay. There's there's another energy for you. There's somebody else here for you. Okay. Nourish who you are. Make the best choices for you. Make the best choice. And, and it's about that seven of cups energy. It's about choosing the healthy, um, the healthy energy for you. And, and it's going to feel so much more better. And the energy is going to feel so much more lighter because you're not competing with negative energies of other femme fatales or, or masculine energies who, who wants the same thing you got, who's possibly already getting it. You just don't know that they're getting it. If they're so territorial um, that they're trying to mark their territory to keep you from getting close to that person, you already know. Somebody already hitting it. Don't waste your time. Move away from the from manipulation. Refine the gift of true listening. You're listening to your higher self, okay? You're listening to the part of you that knows sincerity, with sincerity, with all sincerity, that that person's not a healthy energy to be around. Okay, that they're not. It's like an it's like a uneasy feeling that this person is is giving you. Okay, even if if this re this message does not resonate with you, it could be somebody that you know. Maybe they're telling you that they are attracted to their boss, or they're attracted to somebody in their workplace or in their neighborhood. But I just I have a feeling that there's somebody else who is competing for this person's energy, and they're possibly already getting it. Okay, you get into this situation and you may regret it. Okay. All of the negative things that you said you didn't want in your life or in your relationships or, or um, in your bedroom. You're going to find it here. If you keep fucking around or, or wanting to mess around with this person or, or even thinking about, you know, uh -uh. what is your energy? Your higher self telling you about this situation. Sadness and isolation. You may feel alone. You haven't possibly been in a relationship in a while. You haven't had um, a lot of energy of, of members of the opposite sex. I feel isolation and alone. Sadness and isolation. Uh, rest and reconsider. Think about it. You know, think about if you really need this person in your life like that. You know, you you spend all this time by yourself or 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 
um, without a relationship or without having anybody like this, this heavy energy in your life, you don't need it. Because, you know, it, it's almost if you sometimes you got to be you got to be forced to see the truth. But it really is staring you right there in the face. If somebody's trying to compete for this person's energy to be in their face all the time, they probably already hitting it anyway. They must be already doing whatever they can to keep that energy, that male and that female looking at them. But see the truth for what it's truly worth. That person is not good for you. Not at all. Yeah, I open up and healing begins. It's time for you to, to understand that you deserve more. Okay. I just heard he or she is going ham on that other person. Really, you know, they hitting it real hard. Real hard. And, and the truth is staring you right in the face. For real, though. <laughs> I just heard for real, though. So you're going to be, if you really, really pay attention, you'll see exactly what it is I'm talking about, Virgo. Let's get one final card. Okay. Overall, energy, Virgo, what are you refusing to see? Or what is the energy? Clarity and belief. Release. Let it go. Um, let it go in your heart. You, your heart may flutter or, or, or skip a beat when this person comes into your energy field. Keep on skipping. Skip, skip, skip. Next, next, next. Don't waste your time. That's not healthy. The energy is not, it's not, whew, I catch my breath. It's not healthy for you. Just change your focus. Like, motherfucker, please. Be gone. Open up your eyes. You'll see the truth. Not only you'll see, you'll feel it. Which is why you're questioning yourself. Is something not right about that person? All right. Talk to you later.